And we are back with the last third of my Dominari United set booster. And I think the reason I broke this up in addition to allergies was also because it makes them about 20 minute videos instead of an hour long. So either I learn how to do the speedy uppy thing with videos, which I don't care to learn, or I do shorter videos. So there we go. Art card. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. Oh, and this one's got a gold stamp. I don't know what that means. Um, Joda the Unifier. It might mean that Barbara Rose, Rosiak didn't want to sign cards. I don't know, but it's pretty. All right. Foil basic. Shield Restoration, Rada, Warhouse Frenzy, Garna. Jensen Carthalian Druid Exile. White and a green for a 2 2 human, legendary human druid. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, scry one. If that spell was all colors, create a 4 4 white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. Pay five, tap it, and add Wooberg. This guy might actually be a really good commander. Because it go, works in a five-color deck, and it has a pretty darn good ability. But also, it's a super cheap casting cost. So this guy can get killed a couple of times before he's unreasonable to bring back out. Ooh. So this is a Johnny completed again, but this is the alternate Phyrexian art treatment. So all of the cool things about it that we saw on the English version even more here because it's in Phyrexian and it's rarer. King Darlin the... That's a lot. It's like 158th or something? I don't remember what X is. Alright, now that I've... <laughs> now that I've shown my complete ignorance in reading Roman numerals... This guy is one, a green, and a white for a 2-3 legendary human soldier. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Pay three green, white, and put a plus one, plus one counter on King Darian and create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. Sacrifice King Darian, creature tokens you control, gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. It's fine. I might play it in a token deck, but I don't think I'm going to build around this guy. There's just better options. All right, pack du. See, I may not know Roman numbers, but I I know how to say two in French. That makes up for it, right? Totally balances out. Pretty, I don't know what that is. Oh, Astor, Bearer of Blades. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Walking Bulwark, Coral Colony, Tatia. I've seen the same lineup of uncommons in like, this is the, about the third pack now. Raph, Weatherlight, Dubu, Dor Tori D'Avenant, Caves of Coilus, another Painland. Wow, yeah, that pack was just boring. And that happens sometimes. Some, not everything has anything new, especially as you get down to the bottom of a box. We've probably gone through most of the uncommons and a fair chunk of rares at this point. So it's going to be rares or mythics that we haven't seen and are interested in. Zur, Eternal Schemer. Yeah, that looks like Zur and that looks like he's scheming. The Weather Seed Treaty, Queen Alanol, Yavamai Iconoclast, Vohar, Lagamos, Cosmic Epiphany. For blue, blue, draw cards equal to the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Yeah, this is probably just fine, especially in a in a spell slinger deck. I I don't have one right now, but I would run this in it. Defiler of Vigor. Like I said, the defilers are um, they're a cycle. So here's the green one. Three green green for a six six Phyrexian worm with trample. That's already undercosted. A six six trampler for five is good. 
As an additional cost to cast green permanent spells, you may pay two life. These spells cost one green less to cast if you paid life that way. This effect reduces only the amount of green mana you pay. Whenever you cast a green permanent spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. This is gross. So, they're defilers because they're spreading the Phyrexian poison throughout the plane, and essentially what it does for each of the colors in the cycle, it transforms one of the colored pips on the card into Phyrexian mana, only it doesn't give you a choice to pay them mana that you always pay the life. Eh, that's, that's real good. I also throw away all the mini games, which I know there are websites that claim they're worth a dollar a piece, and I have yet to find anyone who'll give me a dime a piece for them, so I pitch them. I only have so much room. Cats have to play somewhere. Yeah. Shadow Prophecy. Yeah, looks like that. Pretty mountain. Dig it. Linebreaker Bailoth, Tail Swipe, Terra Sunder, Tatiova, Rada, Sarah Paragon. Uh, two white, white for a 3 4 angel with flying. Once during each of your turns, you may pay a land, play a land from your graveyard or cast a permanent spell with mana value 3 or less from your graveyard. If you do, it gains. When this permanent is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, exile it and you gain two life. Wow. It's um it's a five mana angel that gives ev that makes all your little guys reanimatable. Uh, I think that's really good. Ooh. Uh I think this is the textured foil treatment because it doesn't look like any of the other foils I have and this is shielded again but I believe the textured foil of this is actually worth quite a little bit of money I think it's like maybe 30 bucks it's definitely the most expensive thing I've pulled out of the box so that's pretty that's pretty dope we'll keep that over there we'll keep you over here where you're safe Shelly yeah shielded and I were tight I call her Shelly I don't call her Shelly I don't call her anything. She's a fictional character. I don't talk to fictional characters. Except for She-Hulk. Because she talks to you through the TV. It's funny. You, should, you can talk back to She-Hulk. That's cool. Rith. Liberated Primeval. Ooh. Okay, so once again, I was right. These uh, pretty lands look even better in foil. I'm going to need some of these. Cleaving Skyrider, Prayer of Binding, Shalaz Acolyte, Nael, Rulik Fawns, Golden Argosy. We've talked about that one already. Yeah, well, that one was... That pack was... I don't know, it was fine. We got a pretty land out of it. I got content out of it. It's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's fine. Everything's on fire. This is Jaya, Fierce Negotiator. Spoiler, I think Jaya dies in this set. They've been killing off some people lately in Magic. I get that. I rack up quite the body count myself. Ooh, Briar Hydra. Five and a green for a six, six plant Hydra with Trample and Domain. Whenever Briar Hydra deals combat damage to a player, put X plus one plus one counters on target creature you control where X is the number of basic land types among lands you control. Okay. I and mean, there's always gotta be a Hydra in the set. It's always really playable and limited and it's occasionally playable in Commander. This is probably playable. Aether Channeler. Okay, I like this one. Two and a blue for a 2-1 human wizard. When Aether Channeler enters the battlefield, choose one. Create a 1-1 white bird creature 
token with flying, return another target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, or draw a card. See, this is multiple effects that have been stapled onto creatures with this monocost for a long time. And they've always been, the cards have always been fine. They're fantastic and limited. I like this guy. I would probably run this in a Blink Commander deck. What are you doing, kitty? Oh, Daisy's over there laying down on my backpack. She's about to take a nap. All right. Oh, yeah. It's Thor. Love and Thunder, which I liked more than almost anybody else on Authors and Dragons. And that's fine. They can be wrong. Rona, Strength of the Coalition... Wingmantle Chaplain, blah, 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 blah. Lanawar Green Widow. Okay, two and a green for a 4-3 spider with reach and trample. That seems, um, that seems like crazy undercosted. Domain, seven and a green. Return Lanawar. Green Widow, from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped, it gains if this permanent would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. This ability costs one less to activate for each basic land type among lands you control. I'm still probably not playing this in Commander, because it's fine, but it doesn't blow my skirt up. Erg. Spawn of Turg. In foil. So it's like flurg. Shut up. I have to amuse myself however I can. Okay. Urtai resurrected. Oh. That's really pretty. I don't know if I knew Urtai had four arms. I mean, four, not forearm. I assumed he had four arms. Twinferno. Oh, this is a new one. One in red. Instant. Choose one. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy or target creature you control gains double strike until end of turn. Yeah. That's fine. Coalition Sky Knight. Uh, yeah, we talked about this guy. Three and a white for a 2-2 two -two flyer, which is a horrible rate, but it does have enlist so you can buff him if he gets through. Tora Kenarud, Sky Knight. Yeah, we talked about this guy. Instant sorceries make soldiers. Protect negotiators. Aaron, anointed peacekeeper. Two and a white for a 3 3 human cleric with vigilance. As anointed peacekeeper enters the battlefield, look at an opponent's hand, then choose any card name. Spells your opponent's cast with the chosen name cost two more to cast. Activated abilities of sources with the chosen name cost two more to activate unless they're mono abilities. It's fine. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It's fine. And Sarah Redeemer. Nice. Um, okay, three white white for a 2-4 angel soldier with flying. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, put two plus one plus one counters on that creature. So when you play little guys, they turn into bigger guys. Yeah, this is good. Especially in an angel's deck, obviously. Well, I don't know. There aren't many angels that are that small. So, I don't know. The card itself is good. I'm, and I know in... A constructed competitive format, I'd use it in a white weenies deck as a curve topper. Balmor, Battle Mage Captain. Ah. Balmor, Badass Bird. Forest, pretty. Herloon Battle Hymn. Two and a red for a Minotaur instant. Just kidding, Minotaur isn't part of the card type. Kicker of White. Herloon Battle Hymn deals 4 damage to target creature or planeswalker. If this spell was kicked, you gain 4 life. It's a bad lightning helix. It's fine. 
you don't get good lightning helixes in standard sets anymore, so it's fine. Stormy Runny. Electrostatic Infantry. One in a red for a 1-2 Dwarf Wizard. That looks like the guy from Stormkiln Artist. I wonder if it is. Um, he has Trample, and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Electrostatic Infantry. Yeah, I, this, I think this is what happened when the guy from Stormkiln Artist got pissed off and picked up an axe. Baird. 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 Baird or looking Baird. Urborg Lurgoif. You just wanted to hear somebody have to say that on coverage. One and a green for a star slash one plus star Lurgoif. Kicker blue or black and or black. As Urborg Lurgoif enters the battlefield, mill three cards for each time it was kicked. Urborg Lurgoif's power is equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard and its toughness is equal to that number plus one. At its worst, it's a zero one. Haunted Mind. Bad Dual Land. Burp. Talus Lookout. Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. Flyer. That's uh, Foot Survey. Go get lands. Da, da, da. Yep. Yep. A Dark Heart Wastes. A Foil Coral Colony. The hell is that? Bjorna Nightfall Alchemist. Blue and a red for a 1 3 legendary creature human. Tap, sacrifice an artifact. Bjorna Nightfall Alchemist deals 1 damage to target creature. Goad that creature. It has friends forever. Ah. This is a reprint from the Stranger Things Secret Lair. They have started reprinting some of the Secret Lair, new, some of the new cards that were created in Secret Lair. They have started reprinting them with different names in, more, in broader release sets, and they just re-template. They re, um, re-skin it. That's what I was trying to say. They reskin it so that it's not exclusive to the secret lair. Okay. Well, I think the biggest hit out of the box was this potentially textured foil, Shieldred, um, even if it's just a regular foil. Now, now that I look at it more, I think it's regular foil. But either way, the foil Shieldred is good. The Phyrexian Ajani is good. It was a pretty decent box. I'm not unhappy with it, and the set looks, the set looks good. It is so far a fun draft set. I will report more on that later because I'm probably going to draft some tomorrow. But hey, till next time, peace.